Gymnastics is a sport that perfectly encapsulates grace and strength, but in all its perfection, the sport remains to be extremely hazardous to anyone who chooses to partake in it. Over the years, many gymnasts have managed to sustain devastating injuries, and today, and today we're going to be talking about them. Here are some of the worst injuries sustained by gymnasts in gymnastics history. Stick around for number three. It's worth the watch. At number seven, Adrian Niesta. Adrian Niesta's injuries took place at the 2000 Sydney Olympic Games. Not that injuries aren't super common in a sport as physically demanding as gymnastics, but Niesta's fall really made everyone watching just stop and look. Hungarian gymnast Adrian Niesta's terrifying fall took place when she was performing a routine on the uneven bars. Many even believe it to be the undisputed worst fall in the history of gymnastics. You can find the video online, but the gist of it is as follows. In the midst of her routine on the uneven bars, Niesta lost control. Now the uneven bars are already as tough an event as they come, but with high velocity spins and turns that are performed on it, losing control is a deathly mistake. In Niesta's case, she flew off the high bar and slammed face down onto the mat. For the next few moments, Adrian Niesta lay motionless on the ground as everyone present held their breaths. But, but by some miracle or sheer luck, Niesta eventually did rise to her feet and managed to avoid something much worse than injury. Now at number 6, Rebecca Bross. Gymnast Rebecca Bross managed to injure her knee during the 2011 Visa Championships. The event took place on a vault landing and was as painful for the gymnast as it was unpleasant for the viewers. Bross injured her knee on a vault landing, and the resulting sight was visceral to say the least. She had under-rotated the vault, but by the same time she landed the skill, she was still twisting, and even without gymnastic knowledge, one can guess that that's a recipe for disaster. As expected, Bross injured her knee and was forced to sit out the remainder of the season, and many believe that sitting out impacted her performance at the 2012 Olympic Trials. For context, Rebecca could not make the 2012 Olympic team, and for fans of the gymnast, this was incredibly devastating news. The story doesn't even have a happy ending, since Bross's knee dislocation is believed to have a lot to do with the end of her gymnastics career as we know it. The 2011 Visa Championship is the last place Bross competed. Next at number 5, Julissa Gomez. The next gymnast suffered a horrifying injury in the sport of gymnastics at just 15 years of age, leaving her paralyzed from the neck down, proving once and for all that gymnastics really isn't a sport for the weak-hearted. The event took place at the 1998 Seoul Olympics, where Gomez managed to slip on a springboard that was originally supposed to propel her over the vaulting horse. To specify, the vaulting horse is the table where the gymnast bounces their hands off to gain momentum before flipping into the air. Jalissa's head, however, smashed into the vaulting horse. This is what led to her paralysis, and the reason for her head colliding with the horse was just her feet slipping on the springboard. A minute mistake, but very costly in the sport. Jalissa had been performing the same vault for three years entirely flawless, too. When Gomez first hit the ground, she stopped breathing entirely before regaining mild consciousness. She was then rushed to the hospital, wherein the doctors diagnosed her neck to be broken and her body to be wholly paralyzed. A mere three years later, Jalissa Gomez succumbed to an infection and passed away. And now at number four, Melanie Coleman. Melanie Coleman is another example of a gymnast who suffered at the hands of the uneven bars, but in a turn of events, could not survive her fall. Coleman is remembered as someone who bore at the hands of the uneven bars more so than any other gymnast, arguably speaking. The 20-year-old suffered a devastating spinal cord injury after she slipped off the uneven bars in such a way that broke her spine entirely and absolutely at the very moment. The event took place in 2019 at New Era Gymnastics in Hamden, and Melanie Coleman, a dedicated student at the Southern Connecticut State University, could not survive the accident. The gymnast had been practicing the sport for roughly three quarters of her life, which would mean more than a decade. She was, of course, immediately rushed to the hospital, Yale New Haven Hospital to be precise. There, she could not make it. Despite very dedicated efforts by the doctors present, James Gill, one of the doctors operating on Coleman, said she died due to complications of blunt injuries of head and neck and declared the death to be accidental. Now we have number three, Samantha Sirio. This list would not be complete without mentioning gymnast Samantha Sirio, who sustained perhaps the most visually visceral injury on this whole list. This injury took place at the NCAA Regionals in Baton Rouge on April 5th, 2019, during one of her floor routine landings. The very awkward, very public landing made headlines as Sirio landed on her feet in a way that caterpillar her calves and made them bend the wrong way. The resulting dislocation is very obvious if you can stomach watching the video of the incident. The medical term for Sirio's injury was deemed bilateral knee dislocation and resulted in her sustaining fractured legs. Dr. Bentham Embin described her injury as a hundred year storm and claimed that neither he nor his colleagues have ever seen an injury like this. As Sirio's knee was dislocated live in front of everyone, the gymnast promptly began howling in pain. She was immediately rushed to the hospital in a strainer and had to undergo many medical procedures. She was apparently told to expect a painful and protracted recovery. But in an unexpected and unpredictable end of the story, Sirio managed to battle her injury with a lot of dignity and strength, and she came out victorious. Samantha Sirio eventually even learned to walk again. She started doing so by first walking on her graduation. Sirio earned her degree
degree in aerospace engineering at Auburn University in Alabama. Next, number two, Samir Atsed. At the 2016 Summer Olympics in Rio, Samir Atsed from France managed to get a fractured tibia. This injury occurred during his vault attempt whilst he was trying to make it to the qualifying rounds of men's gymnastics at the Olympics. Atsed's left leg snapped on his vault landing and cracked loud enough for the entire room to be able to hear it. He collapsed and rolled over only to reveal himself clutching his leg just below his knee. As his foot and the lower half of his shin dangled in the opposite direction to the rest of his leg, medical personnel immediately went up to him and he was on the ground for a good few minutes as he was worked on that very moment by the professionals. Later, the French Gymnastics Federation revealed that he had broken both his tibia and fibia. The medical personnel stabilized him at the very spot until he could be moved to prevent additional damage to his leg. The fractured tibia, however, turned out to be such a gruesome injury that Paul George, NBA superstar and member of Team USA, felt the need to reach out to him. Paul George has experienced a similar accident in the past, and as such, probably felt a responsibility to help out the French Olympian. And sitting at number one, Sang Lan. This too is an accident that occurred on the vault in 1998 and involved gymnast Sang Lan. The incident took place during her practice vault on July 21st, 1998. Injuries sustained on the vault are not uncommon in the world of gymnastics, but it is notable just how intense Sang Lan's accident was. At merely 17 years of age, gymnast Sang Lan suffered horrific injuries whilst practicing at the Long Island Gymnasium in New York. Lan was representing China in the fourth American Friendship game at the time. Sang Lan, during her vault, was supposed to land on both her feet as is typical landing for a vault. But the gymnast, instead of landing on her own feet, managed to land on her head and neck first. She could not move at all and had to be rushed to a hospital immediately. There, the doctors diagnosed her to have suffered multiple fractures in her upper body, the most serious of which was a cervical spine fracture, which was caused directly by the accident. Sang Lan also went into a coma for a good while, while the injuries left her paralyzed from the chest down. So, in essence, she could no longer stand up and would most likely spend the rest of her life in a wheelchair. To make matters worse, when Sang Lan finally woke up from her debilitating coma, her first words were, when can I practice? And with that, we conclude the video. Which of these injuries do you think was the worst? Let us know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed watching the video, be sure to leave a like and share the video. Subscribe to the channel and turn the notifications on by pressing the bell icon to get notified every time we post a new video. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.